Hi. So I wanted to also talk about getting um, how I got um, IV fluids started and how I got to finally having them done at home. A year ago, a little over a year ago, it was like July last year, I started getting um, regular IV infusions of just normal saline once a week at the hospital. Um, it started out as just one liter a week and then it went up to one and a half liters and slowly but surely I was running out of veins and accessing was hard and very painful um, taking multiple tries and once it was in um, we would run it at anywhere between you know, 475 and 600 cc's an hour um, my veins can barely stand 500 cc's an hour, so when we would have to run it at 600 because you know, I got there late or I was getting picked up earlier or whatever, it was just really painful. Um, I had had that problem before. I used to, when I was in the hospital nine years ago, and I was on um, IV fluids and or medication for uh, two and a half months straight, um, Whenever, if it was just a peripheral IV, they would flush it and it would hurt, which it's not supposed to, but I, my veins are just, you know, they were, they had just gotten to a point where they were just like overly sensitive, and I guess that's what was starting to happen again. Um, so I had been bugging my um, dysautonomia doctor, my neurologist that I have, um, for some sort of central line. You know, I didn't. I wanted a port. I want. I didn't care what. I just wanted central line access because it was too much. I couldn't take being stuck every week, and it was starting to become more obvious that I needed to do it more often and not just once a week. Um, so finally, he uh, he agreed since there was really nothing. You know, we we tried everything else. We tried running it slower. We tried running it. You know. Um, whatever we could do. Um, unfortunately, you can't really run it much slower. I was already there for three hours for a, a liter and a half. Um, you know, run it any slower and I'll be there for four or five hours. It, it, it's just not, it doesn't make sense. It's not comfortable. It's, you know. Um, so I finally got a central line. I wanted a port, but I have, um, I have a Hickman. No, sorry, I don't have Hickman. What am I saying? I have a Broviac, which is like a Hickman, except um, from what I can tell, from what I've read, the catheter is a, a bit smaller. I don't know. It's a 10 French. I don't know what the regular Hickman is, so maybe it's not. I have a double lumen. Um, I don't really know why. I only needed a single, but they gave a double. So it just means that I have to heparinize both. And I actually do run fluids. I take turns. Like one week I'll do it out of the, the white normal port for medication, fluids, whatnot. And the next um, time I do it, I'll do it through this port, um, which is usually used for bloods and whatnot. But it's just for saline. Whoops, sorry. It's just for saline, so really it's not that big a deal. So the things you need to do it at home are alcohol swabs. When I do it, I clean my catheter three times. So I use three of these every single time I hook up. You need the same. This is still wrapped up. There's what looks like like wetness in the bag. I don't know if you can tell. You can sort of see it up there. There's like drops of water. Um, that's normal. It's not that the bag is leaking. It's just how it's packaged. Um, so there's nothing wrong with it. You always want to make sure and check the date since it expires uh, February 2015. So we're good. Um, and you need tubing. 
this is regular um, gravity hang tubing. Um, if I were using it on a pump, it would look a bit different. Although, in theory, this can be used in a pump as well. Um, I don't know why when they were originally selling it to me, because I have to buy all my supplies, so my, I pay for each set of tubing and each bag. Um, my insurance doesn't, I don't have private insurance, and our public insurance, or not public, whatever, the government insurance, rather, um, doesn't cover it unless you're using it for palliative reasons, which I'm not, obviously. But we have applied for... Uh, under the medication d'exception, so under um, exceptions of medications, so they often, they usually say yes eventually, but it can take I think up to like four months for them to say yes. Um, and then there's another, if that doesn't work, then we'll probably try it under um, patient exceptions, so um, for certain patients who it would be um, beneficial to have this medication, um, they'll allow it. Um, I would hope that because of maybe they could use, I don't know, whatever reason, I'm in a wheelchair, I am have no energy, I don't know, whatever. I would hope that they would be able to, to do it at home because, frankly, to the difference between me being able to do it twice a week at home when I need it versus once a week scheduled in the hospital when I may not necessarily need it as much that day. Um, and then I go there and, you know, I, I get, it takes me two hours to get ready to go out, um, or in the morning, and then I have to wait for adaptive transport, I have to get there, um, if transport gets me there early, then I'm, I wait for my time or when there's a, a, a chair ready, um, and then, again, I have to wait to go home, so I have to wait for them to pick me up and go home. So it's, it's like, it, it turns, instead of like just a three-hour infusion, it's like five hours um, or more. So I used to lose an entire day, and I would get home exhausted, and I would need a nap, which was ridiculous because I probably just spent three hours, three hours sleeping. Um, so this saves my energy right now. I'm paying for it. Um, I can sort of afford it for now. Um, I really, 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 really hope it gets covered because I don't know how long I could do it without. And I've actually tried going back down to doing it once a week to save a bit of money just to see if I could now that the weather was cooler. And I can't. I feel like crap. <laughs> so I did the last two weeks with only doing one liter and it, it, I, I felt horrible all week long. Um, I didn't know why at first I thought it was just because I was tired more I was you know but I wasn't really doing more um I had a few extra doctor's appointments but I was just like well you know they're tiring but they're not that bad and then I realized that I had done two bags one week and then the next two weeks I've only done one bag so yeah so I've been dehydrated for the past couple of weeks without really realizing it, even though I am drinking what I can by mouth, unfortunately, um, with the gastroparesis that is getting worse. Um, things don't stay down, or um, I just can't drink it. It makes me so nauseous that I just can't get enough in. So it's uh, it's been much more beneficial to have this at home where I can do it twice a week. and. Um, not have to worry, you know. Another thing you need, I forgot, is, I don't know if you can see it, my IV pole. It's decorated with duct tape. I've got butterflies on the top. And actual, like, magnet butterflies for fun. This is just a bag of supplies for, um, my dressing. And I actually spent the first, oh, I don't know, three weeks with just using a hook on my wall, which is actually, you can sort of see it behind me, it's right there. Oops, no, wait. Right there. And that was great, as long as I was doing it in my room. Um, but if I want to go 
to the bathroom, if I want to go to the kitchen, if I want to go to the living room and hang out there. Um, I couldn't really do it because there wasn't really the possibility of hooking it up where I was and walking around with it while it's gravity hang. And it's not really con like easy concerning I use a wheelchair. Um, so I got a pole. Easier. Wish I could get a pump, um, but my insurance doesn't cover this. <laughs> It's not going to cover a pump, and they're expensive, and the tubing that goes with the certain pumps are three times the cost, I think it was. It was like, or, or more. It was really ridiculous. Um, so in a sense, it's, you know, this is easier for now. I can deal with it for now, and, you know, if it becomes a long-term thing, and if it's something I need if I go on vacation or whatever, then maybe they're going to have to rethink of, you know, what we're going to do. But for now, this is it. So... That's what you need for doing your infusions at home. Um, I'll make another video of me actually hooking it up and probably tomorrow. I'll try doing it tomorrow. So I hope everybody has a good day and I will um, talk to you again soon. Bye.